yeah guys, I'm going to show you um, a good way to start off in Arma 3 King of the Hill. Um, the best way, the fastest way for me. Um, this is how I start off. Uh, my account got reset like a couple, of, uh, I would say almost a week ago. And then I was just grinding out again on how uh, playing. And I thought maybe, well, maybe somebody else would like to know how I play. So, I'm on a low pop server right now. Uh, just to show you guys how this how I do this um, so the first thing I do is just uh, go basic gear so this is what you start off with a TRG 5.56 and these clothes right so these clothes are actually really good clothes because of the vest it has armor these have armor and then the rest of them don't no armor for the recon no armor for the ghillies no uh, no armor for the helicopter pilot or crewman, and then the officer has armor at the end. So this is what you start off with. And the first thing I do, is, first thing I do is I go over here, right? And you want to put medic on. This is what I do. You put medic on, so that way any teammates that are in this circle, like Lucas, we can pick him up, revive him, and get more points. We want to be fast as possible to get to the next level. And then we want to grind till we get ten thousand dollars. The bottom right, you see my money. I have almost seventy thousand. You gotta grind till you get ten k. Once you get ten k, you can buy your second perk. It'll be right here. You can buy that for ten k. And then once you get that perk, um, I would usually run like something fun. But if you want to go fast, um, and use an, is use like a better gun, I would go discount to save money. Or you can go ammo and keep using this gun, right? So, um, you will unlock guns as you level up. The first gun I buy is the Katiba because it's 6.5, it will do more damage. Um, after that, I never buy the PDW. Um, when you buy, um, when you permanently buy guns, it will give you the uh, different color, like this one. The MX 6.5. They're both the same exact gun. You won't see this because I permanently bought that gun. Um, also, where's the sniper at? I also have the camo one because I permanently bought the M320. Um, don't snipe. And unless you're higher level, you know you know what you're doing. If you're trying to level up fast, do not snipe. That's not the way to do it. Um, so run with two perks, medic. And discount, All right? So you get discount on weapons, hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. Um, I don't know if that changes the price off the start. I think it's just when you die, right? Yeah. So when you die, the gun will be cheaper. So you need to have that perk on. So there's no way of uh, like cheating the system. Now I would run, I never run um, discount. I never used it, but I always use ammo because it gives you a lot more. A lot more mags, as you see the top right. Doubles the mags. I'm going for four, two, eight. Um, mainly, when when you're trying to level up fast, you need to get inside the circle. You need to. If you're on the outer edge, you won't be getting any points. Once you get in the circle, you start gaining points. Um, you pull up your watch and see. Now every, I think it's 45 seconds, you get points in the circle. 40 seconds, something like that. You want to be in the circle, not this circle. This circle. This is the main point. There's three teams, and you want to get to that circle right there. Um, F1. I just pressed that. That mutes, or it, put, it like puts an earplug, so it silences stuff, or like noise. So like for helis, you press F1. Um, these are the two perks you use. If you want to, you know, you can obviously pick anything else, but uh, yeah. Then after that, I usually grind straight to 100,000 to get that third perk. That third perk is so nice to have, mainly because you can run Machine Gunner, and then I would run, where is it, Medic, and then I'd run Silencer, because, I don't know if it's disabled, this it shouldn't be disabled. Yeah, this gun right here is my favorite. This is a high level gun, you need to get to level 28, I think. Yeah, it's 28. And I think this one's 20. Two, maybe 23. This one's a low level, but this gun is really good. I'm pretty sure it does the same amount of damage as these two, but.
But the thing is, is as you can see in a second, it's a hundred round mag, and you have a lot of bullets with this gun. So this gun's really nice to have. Um, I mean, this is a gun I grinded on for a while. I used this gun forever until I got to where was it? I think it was. Yeah, I waited till I got to the Zephyr. I used this gun until I got to the Zephyr. Then I used the Zephyr. And then sometimes when I had problems with that, I'd just go back, you know, and just like switch. Because the Zephyr doesn't have silencer. Sometimes you like a silence weapon. Then I went to the Navid. Some servers have disabled, have this disabled, but I mean, I see why it's disabled half the fucking time. Um, this thing fuck up shit, dude. I've taken out helis, you can watch the other videos I have, you can see, um, you'll see, like, Naveed, uh, I made a video of Naveed, but, um, killing or something like that. Just wrecking kids with this gun, shooting through walls, shooting through, taking out people's tires, shooting through the ifrits, taking out helis that are flying in at me, just shooting out the pilot, or taking out the rotor, and them just crashing into the ground, it's, it's crazy, this gun. Um, so is the 338, the 338 is not bad. It's not as good as the Naveed, but it's not bad. I can't wait to get to level 35. That's a that's a good gun. MK200. But that's how you start off. You really want to get in the circle. And um, if you can't get to the circle, if no one's on the outside, if no one's here waiting, you just want to. This is what you want to do. If no one's here, just get any vehicle. I do not recommend getting an offer if no one's there. I don't recommend getting car bikes. It's slow. I would recommend getting Ifrit Strider Hunter. It's the easiest thing to drive. If you're not you're not comfortable with helis, don't worry about it. If you can fly and you know how to fly, just fly straight up into the zone. Um, fly high as you can. You need to get above 100, and then you're gonna parachute down. Um, you're gonna wanna you wanna get in the circle though. Um, now if you know what you're doing and you know how to fly. What I recommend you do is you're gonna want to create like a landing zone somewhere, right? Once you create that landing zone, you're always gonna land there. Now this is another way. This is my recommendation also to make money if you want to get quick cash and quick um, XP. Let's turn the sound down. Let me go with that. Um, you're gonna want to get right in the zone or just escort people. So people at base, you're gonna pick them up, right? And then you're gonna escort them to the zone. You don't make as much money when you are um, when you drop them from the sky when they parachute, but when you land them safely and they uh, they survive on the ground, you make a hundred every person. So if you fill up this heli and land one trip, you already made your money back on the heli, and then the rest of the trips from there. You're making money off of this, so that's like a fast way to make money. Um, I leveled up like almost two levels in one game, like half a game, I wasn't even playing a full game. And uh, yeah, I made a lot of money off of that. It's not bad money, but you do need the land to make a good amount of money. Um, so if you don't know how to fly and you want to get to the zone quick as possible, at the top left, you'll see a meter bar. So once it hits 100, you're going to eject. Yes, you will be losing money because you're dropping the heli straight, and it's just going to blow up. But you will be getting in the circle a lot faster. But the only downfall about this is you're parachuting, so people can see you from anywhere. People can see you from you know everywhere, the towers, the... Anybody that's near you, and you're parachuting into open field. So once you land, you know, now you're exposed right now. Like I'm exposed. I could be shot from anywhere. Give it a second, pull out my gun. Now I'm okay. Now I'll run, find a spot. But people could be looking at you the whole time and tracing you and seeing where you're going. So you could, you know, it's not the best, but if you want to get in the circle as quick as possible, if you can't find a way to get in, most likely people will be escorting you. Like I just showed you how how to make money pretty quick is. Uh, you know, flying helis in, picking up people, and then taking them to the zone. That's a pretty good way to. Uh, that's a pretty good way to make money is landing, landing people in the circle or on the outside. Cause you make money, you make like a hundred, hundred, hundred dollars and a hundred uh, XP every person. That's a really good way. 
Now, I was explaining earlier with the clothes. Oh, I'm so dead. Where's that from? I don't even know where that's from. Well, what I was explaining with the clothes was, if you press I, you'll see that I have armor. I have a carrier rig. It's armor level 4. Now, my helmet is level 2. So this is the only class with the helmet. Um, I, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it stops pistol bullets, not 6 point, or any other caliber like 5.56. Um... This is probably the best. I even wore this up higher levels as well because it's just like stops bullets better. As then if you can show, let's, let's see if I can get a kill on this guy real quick. So this gun could really fuck up the cellar right here. I probably messed up his engine more. I'm surprised I didn't actually kill him. But this gun is really good for that. I use it a lot for taking out helis like that, other than like rocket launcher and AT missiles. Um, another good way to make money um, would be man padding. Man padding is, you know, getting a rocket launcher like an anti air, an AA missile, and getting close to the zone, like probably around here. It's where you can see helis coming in. You do need to make your view distance really far out. And then you just take a helis. And then go back and rearm. Um, that's probably the best. Man, he does not want to die. What are they putting on there? Let's see if I can take out this little bird's engine. Man padding is a good way too because you can just go back for your arm and you're not risking your life. Um, you know, you're blowing up a heli. So once you blow up a heli, you get the money for killing them. I just took out his engine. You get the money for killing him, and you get half the money uh, that was cost for the helicopter. So like, if this blows up for me. Yeah, see how it says Mohawk destroyed? I get 200 XP, $300. Now at the end of the game, it will give me the other half of that. So it's like the bonus. That's what the bonus is. I will get the other half of that money. Um, now, getting in the circles, your best option. I wouldn't recommend AFKing, because, I mean, that's, that's no fun. You're AFKing in the game, and then, yeah, that's, that's no fun at all. Um... You, if you want to level up the fastest way, um, get in a circle, find a teammate to play with, sit in like a little area, wait for people to come by, so that way you know, you know, in case you do die, you have somebody to pick you up, um, and then if he goes down, you can pick him up as well, and you get more money. Um, sit in a little area and wait for people. Don't try not to move around as much. Moving around will get you killed, and it also uses your stamina up. Um, some weapons are heavier than others. They Their ammo is heavier, um, as this weapon is. A t I lost my fatigue very quickly and almost got stuck in the middle of the street. They're heavier. They take more ammo. Some of them are, you know, it's not worth. Um, if you can pick up somebody's gun if you're running on ammo, do it. Um, some of these weapons are DLC, so you need a DLC to use them, like picking them up off the ground. Um, I think that I wrapped up most of uh, the basic parts, um, and a little bit depth into weapons and stuff like that. Um, I did notice I was pressing window. I'm pressing Windows key right now, and you'll see names popping up. Oh, that's a that's a button. But yeah. That's the. I, I would say that's pretty much a lot wrapped up. I will make a video on how to fly and how to land in zones in King of the Hill. You should check out that video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please go subscribe to my. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my Twitch. Like this video. Comment on this video and check out my other videos. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys.